Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate whether or not you can pick up local TV stations with a paperclip. If you can, why have we all been wasting money on antennas? Stay tuned to find out. If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. There are some videos floating around out there of people picking up local TV stations with a paperclip. If these videos are real, why is it that a paperclip can act as an antenna? First, I'm going to head upstairs to demonstrate whether or not this actually works. So I have this digital converter box connected directly to my TV set. It basically acts as an external TV tuner. On the back is a connection for an antenna and it's selected to a TV channel that's very strong in my area. Watch what happens when I insert the paper clip into the antenna input. It actually gets a TV channel and just so you think there's no funny business, if I take out the paper clip, there goes the TV channel. So here is the signal. That's less than 35 cents There's the day. signal, you cannot be and then it's gone. So why did this little paper clip actually pick up a local TV channel? Is it a super HD antenna? No, not at all. A paper clip, like an antenna, is made of metal. If a signal is strong enough, a paper clip will marginally pick up some channels like you saw me demonstrate. A bare coax cable will also work too, as you see here. Yes, this is picking up the TV station with just this coax cable. This is one of the reasons why you will see some people defend horrible junk antennas like this. If you're in a strong signal area, just about anything metal plugged into the coax input on your TV will pick up some channels, including this piece of junk, a coax cable, and a paper clip. So to reiterate, yes, a paper clip can work as an antenna, but not a very good one. It isn't exactly optimized for TV frequencies and it's limited to where it's plugged in at, such as the back of your TV set. It's still a fun way to mess with people. The next time you're at someone's house who lives close to a major city, connect a paper clip or a bare coax cable to the back of their TV set and run a channel scan. You might end up picking up dozens of channels like I did at a hotel in Miami. The TV picked up 26 channels over the air with a bare coax cable acting as an antenna. I know what some of you are thinking. Can you buy this super HD digital paperclip? Why yes, yes you can. For only $9.95, I'll ship you one of the most basic antennas in the world. Follow my link in the description of the video to order. Seriously, if close to 50,000 people bought this piece of junk antenna, you will surely buy this digital paperclip. What are you waiting for? Order now, don't waste your money on an antenna like this. Get a super digital HD paperclip. You saw it work, you saw it picked up channels, so it has to be a really good antenna. Only $9.95. Follow my link in the description of the video to order. Thanks for watching this YouTube video. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or scammed you out of $10 for a paperclip and you'd like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, in direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.